the whole thing is puzzling to me. From the very start, uh, this entire process has been uh, an enigma to me. It is today. As you and I are speaking, this is eight days uh, since the, uh, the indictments finally broke. Um, I don't have a whole lot of information. Orange County I, uh, Sheriff Mike Corona feels he has been ambushed by a federal indictment on charges of corruption. He's not alone in his confusion. So is former prosecutor Anthony Patchett. Why didn't Tony Rakakis from Orange County file this case? He is above reproach. He's done excellent work before. If the evidence was there, I'm sure Tony Rakakis would have filed this case immediately. But you haven't heard a word from them because the feds wanted this case for themselves. Why would the feds want this case for themselves? Every use of force or incident in the jail, and especially any instance of wrongdoing within the Sheriff's Department, is always investigated by the Orange County District Attorney. We asked Sheriff Corona why he is under federal indictment. It's a great question, Leslie. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I literally don't know. And I, this is not me not answering the question because on advice of counsel, I'm not supposed to. I literally don't know. I don't know how I got to where I am today. Apparently, it isn't uncommon for U.S. attorneys to go overboard in their enthusiasm to prosecute. According to the Associated Press, Judge E. Grady Jolly of the Fifth U.S. Court of Appeals is now questioning the overzealous actions of the federal prosecutors who convicted U.S. Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Campion, claiming that the feds overreacted. Former prosecutor Patchett questions the entire process of Sheriff Corona's indictment. He thinks something's fishy going on. I question why didn't they operate by stealth? Why didn't they obtain an indictment? Why didn't they keep it sealed? And why didn't they just notify the sheriff to appear in court and appear for arraignment? There's not going to be a question of a flight risk. He's been around for 32 years. He's a, a law enforcement officer. You don't expect him to flee. His face is very well known. Sheriff Corona had been a national figure, known as America's Sheriff, and he was appointed by President Bush to the National Homeland Security Advisory Council. We ask him if his indictment has been instigated by jealous local politicians, or perhaps has he stepped on some powerful toes in Washington? That's very possible. You know, this is one of these great conspiracy theories that you know, much like the, the grassy knoll in, in, with Kennedy, uh, people will probably discuss for years to come. Maybe uh, during the uh, production of evidence in this case, we'll know more about it and you'll have an answer to, to that question. I'm eight days into to this life of um, having been indicted and, and going through this federal process. I couldn't tell you where this is coming from and it'll probably be several more weeks before I even have an inkling of, of an idea. Um, I w wouldn't rule out that my enemies have uh, conspired against me, but I couldn't even tell you who my enemies are that would have that, that, that ability to conspire, so. This case is so big and high profile, it had to have the approval of executives in Washington. I question if George Bush had anything to do with this indictment. Corona was outspoken in his stand against undocumented persons. And you believe it's at the behest of Washington? Without a doubt, it's at the behest of Washington. And what would be the number one motivating factor for Washington want to, wanting to get rid of a sheriff in California? To make an example. Orange County GOP Chairman Scott Baugh poo-poos the idea of a federal conspiracy. It's a, it's a case where you have a few people, um, uh, George Harmio and Don Heidel, who have access to grind, and they have told people certain stories. Uh, whether they're true or not will, remains to be seen. Whether they can be corroborated or not remains to be seen. Um, but if the feds have that evidence and it's corroborated, it's appropriate to bring charges. Um, and if there's no corroboration, then I again, doubt the merits of the charges, but um, I, I don't see it as any grand conspiracy of federal intervention. Tom Rozek is the public affairs official for the United States Attorney's Office. 
Although he refused to talk specifically about the indictment against the sheriff in our exclusive in-depth interview, he seemed to agree with Mr. Patchett that indictments against notable public officials come from on high. Um, larger matters go up to the chief assistant U.S. attorney, the number two person in the office. Sometimes it goes to the United States attorney. And in uh, certain cases, indictments go through the Department of Justice. Uh, all matters involving national security are approved by lawyers at the department in Washington. Well, again, I'm not going to discuss any case specifically. But we're talking about high-profile cases. We, you acknowledge that there are mm -hmm. things that need special attention. Sometimes you have to go to Washington. That's, that's correct. And a, um, a lot, I'd say most, if not all, of our political corruption cases are going to be reviewed by officials in Washington. Mr. Baugh thinks this is nonsense. You don't think that the sheriff has taken positions that have angered Washington? Oh, I, 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 um, I would categorically dispute that that's the motive of these prosecutors. Um, I don't think the prosecutors have a motive to go after the sheriff because he's taken poli policy positions in Washington. Absolutely not. I don't believe that. But he has taken uh, a position that opposite to the president's on uh, illegal immigration and the enforcement of immigration laws. I, I, I think if, if you're suggesting that the, um, the federal prosecutors are doing this in retaliation for policy position that Mike Cronin has taken, I think that's a position of paranoia and baseless. If the federal system really wants you, they're going to get you. And once you're in the system, it's very difficult to get out. We want to know what you, the viewers, think. Please respond to our survey and be sure to leave your comments below. Number one. Do you believe that this indictment against Sheriff Corona is a result of A, involvement from the highest level in Washington, or B, a result of local corruption? Number two, do you think Orange County District Attorney Tony Rakakis and California Attorney General Bill Lockyer declined to prosecute Sheriff Corona because there was no case? Yes or no? Please be sure to leave your comments below and be sure to check back on our home page to see our full hour interview with Sheriff Corona and others. Thank you.